students this is deepa associate professor department of tce srm institute of science and technology in the previous lessons uh, we have covered the radio wave propagation different modes of propagation and the various factors that control the radio wave propagation to the structure of ionosphere the incidence angle of radio waves and operating frequencies etc we have must to thorough knowledge of radio wave propagation to exercise good judgment when you select transmitting and receiving antennas and operating frequencies the figure shows the ionospheric layers above the earth uh, the layers above the earth are troposphere stratosphere and ionosphere ionosphere ranges approximately between 90 to 250 km above the earth so this class we see about some key important key factors uh, within the high frequency propagation in communication links the key factors are ray path critical frequency maximum usable frequency lowest usable frequency optimum frequency virtual height and skip distance here the so what is ray path uh, first uh, first is ray first key factor is ray path or called propagation path the path that a refracted wave follows to the receiver depends on the angle at which the wave strikes through the ionosphere via several uh, radio paths here figure shows how radio waves reach a receiver via several path through the ionospheric layer with a varying angle of incidence here the radio waves are uh, represented by dark lines and designated as ray 1 ray 2 ray 3 ray 4 ray 5 and ray 6 as uh, shown in this figure uh, the, the different ra- radio waves at the different angles uh, reflected towards the earth the first ray one the ray one when the angle is low with respect to ray one the propagation path is long uh, ray two when the angle of incidence is increased ray two and ray three penetrate deeper into the layer but the propagation path of ray two and ray three is decreased the case of ray 3 uh, there in the case of ray 3 at certain angle the refraction of the wave is returned to the earth at a minimal distance from the transmitter uh, uh, but ray 3 still manage uh, to reach the receiving site on its second refraction from the ionospheric layer as the ray 4 and ray 5 at the increased angle is highly dense at the center portion of the maximization maximization uh, ionization layer maximum ionization layer uh, here in this region the refraction occurs more slowly and they are returned to the earth at greater distance if the angle is too large if the angle is too large the wave is bent away from the earth they uh, in this case the information or communication will be lost in order to prevent this the frequency must be chosen so the selection of uh, suitable operating frequency is very important for successful communication between uh, between any two uh, location between the transmitter and re- receiver at any given time of the day so the, the frequencies are critical frequency maximum usable frequency lowest usable frequency and optimum working frequency so what is critical frequency it is used to indicate the state of uh, ionosphere this the uh, critical frequency is the highest frequency at which the total internal reflection takes place from the ionosphere the mathematical representation of the critical frequency is given here fc is equal to 9 root n max whereas fc is the critical frequency measured in hertz n max is the maximum electron density uh, called ionization density 
measured in electrons per cubic meter. This critical frequency varies depending on the atmospheric conditions, the angle of incidence of the radio waves by the transmitting antenna. Hence, the FC value changes per time of the day. So, what is total internal reflection? Considering the ray of light passes through the medium of water, considering the ray of light passes through passes from the medium of water into the top air. The complete reflection of ray of light within a medium of water or glass from the surrounding surface back into the medium. The phenomenon occurs if the angle of incidence is greater than certain limiting angle called the critical angle. So, here uh, the critical frequency is defined. The radio fre frequency at the above the wave penetrate through the ionospheric layer. This frequency is called critical frequency. So, what is maximum usable frequency? Maximum it is uh, critical frequency is the highest frequency uh, for communication between the transmitter and the receiver. Uh, but uh, critical frequency is it is not the highest frequency. It is not the highest uh, highest frequency which is reflected from the layer. So the maximum usable frequency is a critical. It is the highest frequency that can be used for communication between two given location. So, as the radio waves at the frequency above the maximum usable frequency are normally refracted slowly and they return to earth beyond the desired location through the ionospheric layer. So, therefore, this uh, uh, maximum usable frequency is the best frequency, uh, frequency for communication between any two points under specific ionospheric condition. But the use of established maximum usable frequency does not guarantee successful communication between transmitter and the receiver because, because this depends on the ionospheric condition. The mathematical representation of uh, maximum usable frequency is the function of cr critical frequency given here. F is equal to the maximum usable frequency upon the uh, the angle of incidence so whereas the fc is the critical frequency in hertz uh, fmuf is the maximum usable frequency which is 3 to 4 times of uh, critical frequency so theta is the angle of incidence the factor uh, is, uh, theta is called uh, maximum usable frequency factor and it is a function of the path length if the height layer is unknown. So, lowest usable frequency. Figure shows the refraction of the frequency below the LUF, lowest usable frequency. So, so far uh, we, have, uh, we have covered uh, critical frequency, maximum usable frequency. Now, uh, now we see uh, lowest usable frequency as there is a maximum operating frequency uh, for communication between two points uh, called uh, maximum maximum usable frequency. There is also minimum operating frequency uh, for communication. Uh, this frequency is called lowest usable frequency. As the frequency of radio wave is lowered, the refraction rate is uh, increased. So the wave though whose frequency is below the established uh, lowest usable frequency is refracted back to the earth at shorter distance than desired as shown in this figure. So, the uh, here LUF is defined. It is defined as the frequency at below which the signal falls below the minimum strength required for communication. Hence, the lowest usable frequency is the practical limit below which communication cannot be maintained between uh, two stations. So, what is optimum working frequency? So, therefore, uh, maximum usable frequency and lowest usable frequency are not practical operating frequency 
when the radio wave has the lowest usable frequency the waves can be refracted back to the earth at the desired location the signal to noise ratio is still much lower than at the higher uh, higher frequencies and the probability of multipath propagation is much greater when operating at near uh, maximum usable frequency the signal uh, the wave uh, signal wave faded and the ionospheric uh, due to the ionospheric variation the therefore the most practical operating frequency is one that you can relay on with the least amount of problems it should be high enough to avoid the problem of multipath absorption of the waves and the noise encoded at the lowest frequency so a frequency that meet above the criteria has been established this this frequency is known as optimum working frequency so the frequency which is being used mostly for particular transmission and which has been predicted to be used over a particular period of time over a path this term the frequency is called optimum working frequency this used to estimate the maximum frequency that can be used for given critical frequency and the angle of incidence it is the frequency chosen to avoid the irregularities of the atmosphere so the mathematical representation of optimum working frequency is given here 0.85 times the maximum usable frequency so the next key factor in radio communication link is called virtual light the figure shows the radio wave propagation between the transmitter and the receiver the, uh, with the two uh, different types virtual light and uh, actual light actual light or virtual light it is the height from which the radio wave ap appears to be reflecting so virtual light is defined here when wave uh, when the wave is refracted the wave is bent down gradually but not sharply however the path of the incident wave and reflected wave are the same if it is reflected from the surface located at a greater height of this layer such a great height is termed as virtual light so this is the height from which the radio wave radio wave appears to be reflecting here the figure shows the curved path of refracted wave associated with the frequency the curved path from this figure the curved path reaches at height h1 before being returned to the earth if the incident and return rays or are, uh, are at uh, the virtual reflection height h dash is called virtual reflection height at the site so if the incident uh, and return rays or meeting at point h dash which is called virtual reflected reflection light of the ionospheric layer the virtual light depends on the atmospheric condition the time of the day and the ionospheric layer as shown in this table so what is skip distance the skip distance in the sky wave propagation It, which is the different distance over the earth surface surface between the two points where the radio waves from the transmitter refracted downwards by different layers of the ionosphere the mathematical representation of the skip distance is given here 2h root the maximum usable frequency by critical frequency power 2 minus 1 whereas d uh, the variable the uh, variable d is skip distance h is the height at which the reflection up happens um, uh, yes 
mu f maximum usable frequency f is the critical frequency a figure shows the relationship between skip zone skip distance and ground wave coverage the size of the skip distance the skip distance nothing but so the skip distance between the transmitter and this point see it is the distance between uh, distance on the earth between the two points where the radio waves from the transmitter refracted to uh, towards the earth through the ionospheric layer the size of the skip distance depends on the frequency of the wave the angle of uh, incidence and the uh, ionization density the next uh, f the another factor is skip zone the skip zone is zone of silence between the point where the ground wave becomes too weak for the reception and the point and the point where the sky wave is returned to the earth so the skip zone is zone of silence between the point between the two points between the point where the ground wave becomes too weak for reception and the point where the sky where the sky wave is returned to the earth this is the, this is called skip zone the size of the skip zone depends on the extent of the ground wave coverage and the skip distance when the ground wave coverage so this the uh, this region this portion called the ground wave coverage when the ground wave coverage is great enough or the skip distance is short the skip distance is short enough then there is no zone of silence occurs and there is no skip zone also so summary of the 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 topic key factors within the high frequency propagation in radio communication links frequencies including uh, the critical frequency maximum usable frequency low use uh, lowest usable frequency optimum working frequency are all of great importance when determining which frequencies will provide the best performance for short wave and uh, high frequency radio wave communication the highest frequency which is reflected from the ionosphere to the receiver is called critical frequency in radio transmission the maximum usable frequency is the highest radio frequency that can be used for transmission between the uh, between uh, the two like two locations this frequency is the this frequency is two or three times of critical frequency the lowest usable frequency is defined as the frequency at below which the signal falls minimum strength required for satisfactory reception next to the frequency which is being mostly for a particular transmission and which has been predicted to be used over particular period of time over the path this frequency is called optimum working frequency hence the max, uh, maximum usable frequency is a median frequency uh, at which the sky wave communication is possible 50% of the days in a month as opposed to the lowest usable frequency and optimum working frequency these are the some references followed for uh, the key factor uh, in the, uh, the frequencies in radio communication link thank you